Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. So in the inventory module, whenever we are working with the inventory module while working with the item transactions, in our instance, we will be getting uh, uh, different options here, like Redwood pages and all. So in this session, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable the Redwood pages. When we log in as an employee user, we know already which role is required for item creation, product manager. Then which role is required for uh, performing the inventory transactions? Which role is required inventory manager, warehouse manager, warehouse operator, right? So once you add all these roles, in the latest version, what we are working now is 25B2025, second quarter. In this version, we got the latest uh, Redwood pages. Oracle introduced new UI. UI stands for user interface. Redwood pages. It will be having same functionality, no, no, no difference between the classic and the Redwood. But Redwood will be more flexible for performing the transactions and it will support for the artificial intelligence for automation as well as it will be more look and feel and performance wise also it will be good. That's the reason Oracle introducing this Redwood pages. But there are some issues uh, with uh, some of the Redwood pages. That's why Oracle has not done, it is a mandatory, it is an optional. So what you can do is when you are learning inventory or when you are working in the project, if you are okay with Redwood page, go ahead. If you are not clear with the Redwood page, then I'm going to show you how to disable the Redwood pages for inventory transactions, okay? When we go to Navigator, Supply Chain Execution, go to Inventory Management. Sometimes you will see that here Inventory Management Classic and also the Inventory Management, both. If you have Inventory Management Classic, no problem, you can use that, okay? If you say you do not have the Classic, you have only Inventory Management. It means it is Redwood uh, user interface, okay? This is of course mobile, mobile application. It's not required for us as we are working from the desktop, okay? Now, if I go to in inventory management, system is going to open the pages in Redwood UI. You can see that the page is loading here and uh, uh, you, can, you can find here Redwood. In the URL also, you can find here Redwood. The look and feel, the functionality, analysis, everything is excellent. But the problem is some of the Redwood pages are not up to the mark. When I say up to the mark, some of the uh, pages are not uh, working properly or maybe performance issue. Sometimes it gets struck up. But classic is always uh, perfect because last six, seven years we are using the classic UI, right? Classic user interface. Okay. Now I'm able to see that my inventory and I'm able to see that different actions. For example, if I want to perform some miscellaneous transaction in Redwood page, what I'll do is I'll go to view all actions and I have to search for miscellaneous, create miscellaneous transaction and uh, click on this. Now what happens? System is trying to open this miscellaneous transaction page in Redwood UI. Okay, so uh, see that it's taking long time. Sometimes it is an issue. Uh, it, it may not get open. Uh, it will be keep on going like this, okay? So what we will do is instead of preferring this uh, Redwood pages, we go with the classic UI, okay? And even Oracle also said, okay, uh, Redwood pages, if you are not interested to use at this point of time, you can disable. And in, whenever you need, you can go for enable it going forward in the next, uh, upgrade, next quarterly updates. Most probably by 26 or 27, 2027, we may get perfect redwood ui without having any issues in all the areas okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to disable this redwood pages and uh, use the classic ui in the inventory management let me log out from this user log in as an implementation consultant who is having the access to fsm functional setup manager okay so now go to the task uh, let me log in here i'm going to log in as an implementation user Go to FSM environment here.
go to setup and maintenance here. Now go to our inventory, supply chain material management. Offerings, inventory, profile. Go to the task here, inventory, profile options, manage, inventory, profile options. Here we have to use this particular uh, code. Oracle Inventory Management Landing Page Redwood Enabled. This is the profile option code we have to search. Click search button, then we will be able to see that this is the profile option is used to enable or disable the Redwood pages in inventory management. In inventory management, go down and say profile value as no. Say profile value as no. I, by default, it will be yes at site level. When I say at site level for everybody, for everybody, by default, it will be yes. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. We have something called user level. Yeah. There is only one level that is site level. It is applicable for everybody. So by default, it will be yes. I said that no, I don't want enable the Redwood pages for inventory management. That's what I have configured. Okay. Now let, let me log out and log in as an uh, transactional user. We are going to log in as a transaction as Mr. Sujit has got the access to the application. He is able to you know, perform the transactions inventory. Now he will go to product management. Oh, sorry. Supply chain execution and uh, go to inventory management. Now we will be able to see the classic UI. Oh, still it's, still it's not updated. Let me cross check once. Let me just log out. Log in as an implementation user. Go to supply chain material management, inventory profile options. Go to the task inventory profile options. We said that no, right? We don't want to enable the Redwood pages successfully. That's we have done. Let me just log out and log in once again. Oh, sorry. Now log in as an uh, employee user or uh, transactional user. Let's go to navigator, supply chain execution. I can see that here, inventory management classic. Click on this, then we will be able to see that classic UI. So this is common. So we will be able to perform miscellaneous transaction as per our training, whatever we discussed in our online classes, right? But the only thing is this item quantities option is there in the below of all that option. Remaining is common, only item quantities. So I think for item quantities, again, it is, uh, uh, it's in a Redwood page. So we have to use another profile for disable the item quantities uh, Redwood page. I'll show you that in another uh, uh, video. So I'll go for explain that in another video. So this is uh, inventory Redwood, how to disable, okay? So let's go for it and uh, perform your actions. Thank you. And subscribe for this YouTube channel to get the latest uh, updates about uh, uh, Oracle Cloud Supply Chain Management, Human Capital Management. You will be able to get always updates from here. Thank you.